you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries january 19th tuesday let's begin this day with the blessings of god here in the holy gospel according to saint mark chapter 2 verses 23 to 28 one sabbath he was going through the grain fields and as they made their way his disciples began to pluck heads of grain the pharisees said to him look why are they doing what is not lawful on the sabbath and he said to them have you never read what david did when he and his companions were hungry and in need of uh, food he entered the house of god and uh, abiathar was high priest and he ate the bread of the presence which it is not lawful for any but the priests to eat and he gave some to his companions then he said to them the sabbath was made for human kind and not human kind for the sabbath so the son of man is lord even of the sabbath the gospel of the lord praise you lord jesus christ dear friends today we have a third confrontation between jesus and the pharisees on the place of the law in people's lives his disciples are accused of violating the sabbath by plucking the heads of grain as they walk through the corn field stealing was not involved as such cleaning especially by the hungry poor was tolerated but the law forbade reaping on the sabbath one could hardly call what the disciples were doing as the reaping but with the causistic mind of the pharisees and teachers of the law the bias was on the side of safety the perfect observer of the law would not do anything that could even be regarded in a slight as a violation jesus solves the issue by appealing to the hebrew testament which of course the pharisees recognized as the word of caps he reminded them how king david and his followers did <clears throat> and secondly that jesus is master of the sabbath the first principle is a very important one namely that all laws are for people and not vice versa they are not ends in themselves and moral perfection is not a, in their literal observances the hunger of david and his men transcended their religious regulations for the jews of the jesus time which was in perfect observance of the law for jesus observance of the law was only perfect when it was for the good of others and oneself the second principle was that jesus as the son of god was not bound by human laws however locked in their motive we would do well to remember those principles in the living out of our christian faith it is possible to lead rule centered christian lives rather than love and people centered there is only one law in our faith love one another as i have loved you god even god will not uh, violate that law because god is love any law which in particular situation does not serve this primary law can be set aside and should be set aside positive laws are necessary for smooth function in society but they are never absolute amen may god bless us